Hey, this is Emily here with Bigfoot TV, here to show you the brand new underwater filming tank at Bigfoot Studios. Specially designed for underwater filming and photography, the underwater studio on Macton Island offers optimal lighting and is fully equipped for a quality shoot. Its four viewing windows allow photographers and directors to shoot from various angles to create the effect of both deep and shallow water. Marine Boy, a Korean feature film about drug trafficking on the open seas, recently christened Bigfoot Shooting Tank as the first movie ever filmed in there. Let's take a look at the models being photographed and filmed in the new underwater tank. Hi everyone, I'm here with Peter Bergstrom, one of the dive instructors here at Bigfoot Studios. So Peter, tell me about this pool, why is it so special? Yeah, I would say the best feature with this swimming pool is the depth, because mm -hmm. you can practice proper ascents and descents. Most pools around the Philippines, especially in Cebu I've been teaching, is, is a little bit too shallow, you can't learn proper diving. Tell me, how big is this pool? Uh, this pool is 16 by 8 by 5, 5 meters deep, and it uh, contains uh, 640 tons of water, so it's a lot of pressure on it. <laughs> that is a quite, quite a big pool. Why is it nice for new divers or models that are using the pool? Uh, first of all, we have a platform where they can practice shallow depth before they get relaxed and uh, I think the most attractive part is the windows they can look out and really distract them and, and feel more comfortable and in the windows you can also film and take pictures exactly the body can take pictures of the parents or whoever will be there awesome well thank you so much Peter you better close your eyes Before you go back under the water, I have a couple questions to ask you. So, what are some of the challenges you find training the models for underwater diving for the safety? Challenges for the training for the model. Some models sometimes, <coughs> especially panic, number one. Panic sometimes, they drink water. Sometimes they drink water on their nose. So that's why they get panic. So their point of view is just to go up. But sometimes you must think that going up is more dangerous than to drink water underwater. Okay? And what are some of the hand signals they use? Some hand signals of the use, mostly problem, this is problem. Sometimes they tell me go up, I got problem. What about air? I'm out of air. Awesome, well thank you so much. And that was Ken Ken, the underwater safety instructor for Bigfoot Studios. Here with two of the models, Amy and Tina. So tell me girls, how does it feel being under the water? Uh, it's pretty cool actually. Yeah, it's totally awesome. Were there any moments of fear about running out of breath? Um, yeah, but you have safety divers so it's, you kind of know they're right there and you're trained to, to learn to tell them when you need air, so. Have you guys done this before? A little bit. <laughs> Not at all, so this is your first time? Yep. She's doing good then. Was it really scary? Going underwater for the first moment? Yeah, first. for me it was, yeah. yeah it was. Really? Yeah, for me and it was. Yeah. What do you guys do under the water? Video or, or photography. Yeah. And you, don't, you can't see, you can't hear, and you can't speak, so all your senses are gone. So, it's so you definitely. have to learn the sign language yeah, for it's underwater. Different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, how exciting. Well, thank you so much, ladies. Yeah. And those are the models with the Bigfoot Studios signing off with Bigfoot TV. Yeah.